just finished workout number one of month two. Can't say I loved it. Um, not so much the exercises. If you remember, I told you there's a big jump and from workouts in, in month one had five exercises. There's a total of 10 different exercises in these workouts in month two. And it was just a lot of setting up. Like I feel like so much time was wasted setting up for the different circuits. I, uh, and one, one of the, the bicep curls, you have to be against the wall. So fit, finding the wall space to do that. Um, I also kind of felt like I was doing a lot of guess guessing my weights and then having to adjust my weights. It just, I, I'm in that adjustment mode. It's, there's a very big change from month one to month two. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> that, because I told you, you have push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, legs again at the end of the week. And at the end of the week, it's entirely different circuits with different exercises. And it almost feels like instead of getting into that flow, instead of knowing what weights I'm supposed to be doing, what exercises I'm supposed to be doing, kind of cutting down on the transition time, I'm just gonna be, it's gonna be the same thing at all six workouts this week. So uh, I haven't totally decided what my plan of attack is. If I'm just gonna follow the week the way I'm supposed to, or if I'm going to repeat these workouts and make that my week. The contrast wave loading clarification because I think I watched this video three different times it took me a while to understand it my first before I did my first workout I rewatched the video just just to double check and I'm glad I did because turns out I was wrong the way I had had assumed it was supposed to go um, contrast wave loading you have a, he designates the weight you should be using percentage wise. It's a, a lighter weight. Um, you're gonna do a small amount of reps. Then you're gonna add weight on to do a one, one rep heavier weight. And you'll do that multiple times. Each time you'll go back to the original lighter weight with the, the minimal amount of reps. But each one rep you are adding on to your weight. In fact, by the end of this week, you're supposed to be up to your 100% your of your one rep max. So I'm beyond grateful for my new power rack and absolutely stable safety bars. But he does say, side note, he says that, that by lifting that lighter weight, it enables you to better attempt that one rep heavy weight. So...
Hey everybody, just finished up workout two of the week. This one went smoother than yesterday. And I was thinking more and more about yesterday being a little, just a little annoyed at how long it was taking to transition and, and set up the circuits. But I'm realizing now with my cable machine, I don't have like a typical, you know, move the pin cable machine to adjust weights. I have to move plates on and off. And that gets a little uh, cumbersome when you're in the middle of the circuit and having to rearrange a bunch of plates. But hopefully in time I, I adjust, I plan a little bit better. But this, I'll tell you what, at the, the end of the workout, your muscles, like my arms, feel so heavy right now. Your, muscle, you, your muscles give everything that they have and by the end there's just not much left to give. <laughs> I want to go back a couple of days ago I was explaining um, the schedule to month two a little bit and I had the chance to go back and look at it a little more so you have as I've said m multiple times push pull leg so these past three workouts that I have done have been grouped together as 1a so each one was a push 1a pull 1a legs 1a the second group of workouts this week's on the schedule are 2a and it's the same thing there's there's three 2a workouts so push pull legs 2a there's 1a 2a 3a those are all different workouts and you make your way through that group of workouts then you're going to come back and there's going to be 1B, that's a group of three workouts. 2B, that's a group of three workouts. 3B. Those B workouts are repeats of the first three. So 1A and 1B are the same workout except the contrast wave loading, the format to that changes. I told you earlier this week that I felt, I felt like with so many new workouts, you don't, you don't have a, it takes a little bit of time to, to get your weights, knowing what weights to use, getting a little bit of a flow in. I didn't know entirely what my plan was going to be. Um, I, I, and in the past, with AX1, if you saw, AX1, um, I didn't, I did the weeks back to back. So week one, I did twice. Week two, I did twice. Week three, I did twice. But I did them right back to back. Week one, and then I repeated week one because I got comfortable with the exercises and the workouts, and it, and it flowed better the second time around. So I believe I'm going to do that with month two. I did the three 1A workouts. I am going to repeat those workouts to finish out this week. Um, I just, it's going to buy me a little more time. I think that turns month two into six or seven weeks. Um, and who doesn't like to, you know, extend the program and get a little more you know bang for their buck I also think it's just going to flow better for me knowing kind of taking that first that, that first go at the workouts and knowing where my weights need to be how to adjust things and move a little quicker so that's that is my plan now um.
workout has just <laughs> been all over the place. Got done with the uh, contrast wave loading on the squats. My treadmill got de delivered. My husband's home from work, so as soon as the treadmill is delivered, he's like, let's get this box downstairs. <laughs> okay, so we, as you can see, we got it downstairs, got it unboxed. So there's a huge lag in the middle of one of my circuits. Another thing I'm finding with my um, adjustable dumbbells, they are very bulky. So they do not always work for certain exercises. Like today he called for RDLs, which was fine, but then you're supposed to do hip thrusts with that same weight, those same dumbbells um, resting lengthwise, basically, on your hips. That was not working with these. Um, and then for dumbbell swings, I don't like, I did use them. It, I was testing it out today. I don't like using my adjustable dumbbells for dumbbell swings either. I feel like things might be clicking. Just doesn't seem like a smart idea. So learning as I go, adjusting as I go. Um, even the other day with some of the tricep moves, my, my adjustable dumbbells just they're like I said they're very big and sometimes it limits the range of motion on certain exercises and side note for today obviously today is legs day first time I have ever seen calves in a NAX program that being said I am NOT a fan of working my calves I already have monster calves so I may cut down significantly barely touch on it and and then probably throw in like a corrective exercise for legs because like I said I am not looking to build on what are already monster calf muscles and back to the leg circuit I have switched it up I'm using a barbell which he does mention you can be switching around umbells and barbells for some of these moves the barbell just works much better with these these exercises uh leg day just did not go well after uh the dog vomited on my rug upstairs and uh, so obviously i had to clean that up then people showed up at the house i gave up <laughs> some days it's just not in the cards to work out guys that wraps up the week for me um, not really sure what to call it week week five the first half because remember it was supposed to be 1a and 2a sets of workouts um, I doubled up I really liked the way I doubled this up so I did the push pull legs 1a and then rather than moving on to the 2a's I redid 1a and it really streamlined the workouts for me um, I knew I knew what weights to use. I knew what exercises were coming. I cut down on transition time. So that was, I'm definitely gonna continue this for the next couple of weeks, repeating the groups of workouts. Um, the other thing it helps is cut down on the amount of prep time it takes. Cause it actually does take a little bit of time to um, watch the walkthrough video, watch some of the demonstrations of the exercises and then calculating what what weights to use. So um, that was kind of nice too. So I will see you next week 
for the second half of week five, the 2A workouts.